10 years we've been looking here and look what we have hey this is frank of ocho verde wildlife welcome back i am down here in southern costa rica been down here for about five weeks wrapping up the trip tomorrow i wanted to share with you the highlights of the animals that i found in fact uh, i'm going to show you all the cool animals that i found on this entire trip some of the animals are rare and some are quite unusual and i think you'll enjoy them so here we go this is our what we call the walking palm trail i'm sure that i've mentioned it many times before Here's this cool vine right here. Can you check that out? Uh, but look at that. It's a sloth right there. I mean, he's like 10 feet above my head there. Maybe a little more light. Just there, hanging on the hanging on the on the vine. I'm gonna try to get another look from the other side. That's kind of what they do. Uh, I don't know whether it's coming down or going up. Just not sure. Anyway, very cool. Well, this is a malachite butterfly. It's beautiful, huh? Check that out. Is that cool or what? Slowly fading. See, it's right there. Watch this. It's a quint beetle. You can see that its eyes glow. Experts had trouble identifying this huge caterpillar. But Costa Rica's legendary conservationist Dan Jansen identified it as Manduca albiplaga or something very similar. Look at this crazy little den that something has built here. It hasn't been used in a while. There's some spider webs in there, but it's a crazy little den nonetheless. Very cool. Who doesn't love a million baby spiderlings? Look at those cuties. All right, keep eating bugs, guys. One of my favorites, the Willy Possum. How are you doing up there, Willy? Everything cool? Watch out for ocelots, because they're around. All right, we'll see you. Look at this cool beetle, man. Look at that. He's like three inches long. Look at that guy. Pretty dang cool. That's the great tenemu. Very cool bug. Looks like a six spot bug. Look how bright that orange is. This is actually a velvet ant. It's a wasp that has no wings. Kind of been looking for one of these. This is under the tent of disappointment. This is what's known as a velvet worm. It's in its own phylum, biologically speaking. It's not a caterpillar, it's not a slug, it's, it's not really a true worm, segmented worm, but it's a very ancient animal. It's called the velvet worm. Very cool. So if you can see it right up there, center frame, there is a bat feeding on a piece of fruit. I have no idea what type it is, but I do have some friends who are bat experts and they can probably tell me. But we can be sure that it's a fruit bat of some type. And this is a peppered cockroach. Check it out.
Hey, if you're here to see the snakes, lizards, and frogs from this trip, there's a special video just for them. I've linked it below in the first comment. Just on the other side of this tree. Look at that guy. See him up. The possum, common opossum. Pretty dang big cockroach here. Look at that. Probably two inches, close to two inches. Look at that guy. Awesome. And this is the colorful Spirobolid millipede. It's called this because it retracts into a spiral ball as its very first defense. This is a thick tailed scorpion one of several species that lives in the area. Beautiful butterfly, one of the swallowtails, I think. It's pretty cool because you can see the um, backside of it. And there is the underside of it. This beautiful insect is in the genus Agra, and it was unidentified on iNaturalist. 10 years we've been looking here, and look what we have. It is a silky anteater. Oh my gosh. Just can't believe it. This is uh, one of the Eden Tates. Related to the sloths. The... Look at that. Oh my gosh. Related to the sloths, the anteaters, the armadillos. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Anyway, you can see this little critter going up the tree. Wow, that's a new species for our property here. Silky anteater, way cool, way freaking cool, man.